Hello, welcome back to Ripe for Investing. And today I'm going to continue with some information about bonds. I'm going to be talking about maturity versus duration. I think for many folks, bonds or bond funds can be confusing. So what I want to start doing is going over some of these terms and really helping you understand each of those. So today, once again, maturity versus duration. All right, let's get into this. So duration is a measure of the sensitivity to interest rates. Okay, so this is the deal is if you have a bond that says its uh, duration is five years, that doesn't mean that at the end of five years, you're going to get your money back and your interest payments and so forth. That's just telling you what the duration is and how sensitive it is to interest rates. So the catch here is that the longer the duration is, the more sensitive the bond is to interest rates. All right. So if you had two bonds, let's say a five year bond or a bond with a five-year duration versus a bond with a 10-year duration, the one with the 10-year duration is going to be more sensitive to interest rates. And I've got an example of that coming up here soon. The next thing you need to know is it's not a constant. So this thing, this number does in fact change, especially with bond funds. So just keep that in mind. That's the the one thing I want you to remember. Um, All right, moving on to maturity with our next slide here. Once again, maturity is, in fact, a constant. So if you buy a six-month bond that matures on April the 14th, that date is not going to change no matter what happens with interest rates. On April the 14th, your bond is now done. You're going to get your money back plus all of the interest payments that you would have gotten up to that point, okay? So remember that, that maturity is a constant. Interest rates have zero influence on the maturity date. That date does not change. This is important because we're going to run into a term later on called yield to maturity, which I'm not going to cover today. It's a little bit more complicated, but we will discuss that later on. You're going to need to know the difference between maturity and duration, though, to understand that. All right. All right. Next slide here. And here's my example. Suppose you have a bond with a duration of five years versus a bond with a duration of three years. If interest rates increase 2%, then that bond with a duration of five years is going to decrease in value more, okay? So the the one with the longer duration always is going to decrease in value more if interest rates go up. Very important to know this, that interest rates and bond prices are inversely related, okay? Um, If you expect an increase in interest rates, you might want to lower your exposure to bonds with higher duration. So this is important, you know, if you're going out on the market and you're looking for bond funds, uh, and I'm going to give you an example here in a minute, you know, and you're you're trying to decide which one of these bond funds do I buy, uh, you want to look at the duration and find out, you know, if we're in an environment where there could possibly be some drastic interest rate rises, Maybe you don't want exposure to the higher durations, okay? Here's my examples. The ticker symbol is SCHR. It's a Charles Schwab bond fund, uh, intermediate bond fund. The duration is 5.2 years versus TLT, which is the iShares long-term bond fund, uh, a duration of 17.3 years. Um, so this TLT, the duration is pretty long here. It's over, you know, 15 years. So that's going to explain why year to date that this thing is down 30%. A lot of people don't understand bond funds and they buy these bond funds and then they get angry and mad because the thing is down 30%. But really it's simply working the exact way that it was intended to work. Um, the yield has went up. So the price is going to go down. All right. And once again, you've exposed yourself to long-term uh, duration, so it's going to move down much further than the intermediate one. I can't remember what SCHR is down, but it's down maybe like 7% at the most or something like that. Certainly not double digits. So with TLT, it was a bit riskier, uh, but you are going to be getting a higher yield here, okay? So keep that in mind. Okay, so that just kind of wraps things up for maturity versus duration. I'm going to make these videos just kind of short no uh, yapping about too much, and uh, you know you can get something out of them pretty quick. And I'll be doing a bunch of these over bond terms, so you can increase your understanding and knowledge of that. Uh, please visit my website, Ripe for Investing, if you haven't already done so. Got some nice blogs over there about my passive income, and hit that subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for more of this. All right, take care.